Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So another beautiful day up in the woods. The weather has been a bit changeable this uh, weekend. So I've put this rough ass um, basher tarp up just in case we get a downpour. It just allows me to bring my kit under and take some refuge and carry on basically. So on today's video, what I thought we'd do is, is have a quick look around this cooked kit. So we've got the bush pot, and the flask and both of these are stainless steel and these are from TBS the bushcraft store over here in the UK so let's get into it let's take a closer look welcome back so I've brought you under the top with me and I'm going to pan you down here a little ways and uh, we'll take a look at this this cook kit from TBS. So first up is the flask. Stainless steel. I believe this is a litre flask with the wide mouthed top. Screw on lid. Seems to be a good um, heavy duty construction. Uh, inside of the lid we have a nice neoprene sealing ring and because this is going to be used in conjunction with the fire we can simply remove this plastic um, ring from around the threaded neck so that we can then put this over the fire without melting said plastic um, screw on cap in conjunction with the flask i went ahead and bought the fish mouth spreading uh, device this is sold separately to this, this kit that comes together. Um, but this is specifically styled to fit inside the mouth of the flask. So that just drops inside there. And there is a small grooved slot just inside of that, which the prongs fit into very nice and snug. Good spring retention on this. So now we have a way of hanging this pot over the fire to boil our water which I'll demonstrate later on. Making our water safe to drink. I do like that. I do like the wide mouthed um, opening. That allows for easy collection of water from a, a stream, a river, or a lake, whatever your water source is. So I do like that. There's the Bushcraft store logo there. We'll, uh, we'll get to use all this kit later on. Up next is the bush pot. So this is, it's marked up to 500 uh, millilitres, but as you can see, you could fill it somewhat higher than that. Again, stainless steel, it's got two folding bale handles there to take this on and off the fire coals, should you need to. And a bale handle for hanging your bush pot over your fire. The lid that it comes with is also obviously stainless steel. It's a nice substantial thing, it's, it's nicely pressed out. It's got three either drain holes or steam release points there. And the, the lift off loop has a nice little touch. Just, I don't know if this will pick up, but just at the bottom here, there's a small slot. And that's so that you can lift the ring up, your thumb ring, slide it up, and now it stays in the vertical position. So. It doesn't fold flat on you whilst it's in the fire. So it's a nice little little attention to detail like that, I think um, is nice, personally. Like I say, we're gonna be using this. We're gonna try it all out. So as you can see, it's all virgin-like. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go through the price point of this thing, and um, we'll get the fire pit cracked up. We'll get a brew on. We'll go and try and collect some water and um, show this thing in action, as it were. So under here I've got my invoice. So this whole kit which also comes in this small sort of neoprene sack or bag if you like with a cinch up point which I'm, as you all know I'm not a big fan of that. I will probably make my own um, carrying sack. I'm not over keen on these plastic nylon things but that's just my opinion but it does come with that uh, and this whole kit 
came in at £29.95. So for me, being a budget friendly type of guy, <laughs> cheapskate, whatever you want to call me, this is on the more expensive side of things for me. As you guys and lasses know by now, I like to do things as cheaply as I can to make this affordable and reachable um, to everybody, the masses. <clears throat> now, this isn't as expensive as like the Pathfinder equivalent or something like that, but it is on par with quality, in my opinion, on first impressions. And it's a UK company, so I'm always going to support UK first. It's not from China. So for me, that's also a, a big positive. So we're going to crack on with this now and put it through its paces. And let's see how this little kit performs. Stay with me. Okay, so I've brought you a bit further into the woods, down to this little spot here, because it has been raining and it's always, it's always quite damp and boggy underfoot here. So that tells me that there's water just underneath the surface here. So we're going to dig a, a small gypsy well here and see if we can't collect some water. And using the flask, the TBS flask, we're going to get that on the fire, get it boiled up make it safe to drink. So uh, stay with me and we'll have a go at this. Okay. Got my old um, German military entrenchment tool here. So we're going to get this bad boy out. Use this to start digging us our, our gypsy well. So let's get into it. I'm going to keep all the dirt to one side. I'm going to put everything back as I find it. Yeah, this is really wet, really clayey. So we should start hitting water pretty soon, or at least create a hole into which any runoff water will gather and uh, accrue. Cloudy as you can see. Yeah, I'll carry on digging this hole out. I'm going to get somewhere with it. I'll bring you all back, let you have a look. Welcome back. So, I've gone ahead and dug a small gypsy well here, and I've hit water. Not much, not as much as I was expecting, to be honest. But uh, what I've done, I brought along with me some pure 100% cotton material. And uh, bringing on Mr. Dave Watts's fabulous uh, bushcraft knife. I'm going to cut some of that in half. Obviously, we can use this for charred material and all the filtering methods, etc. So, I always carry some good 100% cotton material with you. And basically, I'm just going to stuff that down the hole and soak as much of that water up as I can. It's quite wet down there, but like I say, it's not as much as what I was hoping, to be honest. I dare say if I left it another hour or two, I'd probably I'd probably get more, but uh, I want to crack on and get it done. So I've got the old TBS flask here. And what I'm going to do on the other piece of material is throw that over the, over the mouth a little ways. If I can, stuff it in there. Down here a little ways, do you forgive me? And I'm going to take a a rag out, so that just acts as a secondary filter to get rid of some grit and dirt, basically. I'm going to keep going. is very sandy loamy and clay the soil here which also gives me another idea for a future video maybe a little bit of bushcraft pottery or something like that I did have a go 
some years ago at home. I've done a video on that in the past. But it's a good fun little project. Well, that's one for another day. But we're getting there. Once we've collected enough, we'll get the fire pit cracked up. We'll boil this up and uh, see how effective it is. Stay with me. Okay, so I didn't actually, in all honesty, get as much as I wanted. But there should be enough there for a brew. And in a pinch, if you was really desperate, that would get the job done. So, still a bit cloudy, a bit soily. But once we've boiled it, that should be fine. So, I'm keeping the lid on. It, it has got a good seal. I'm keeping the lid on, so obviously, I don't want to knock it over while I'm getting my fire ready. So... You don't want to lose your precious water if you are in that sort of a situation. So I've got me a bit of flatwood here. I've just been out and gathered some dry dead standing. I've not looked at anything off the floor today because everything is still quite wet and sodden from the rain. So I'm just going to take off some curls of flatwood. Some nice fine stuff here so it'll take take a spark easily I don't want masses of it should be enough the kindling that I've brought back with me to to camp snaps nice and clean so an indicator that it is still dry Okay, let's see what we can't what can't do here. Put those bit on my fireplace. It's my fire light. And uh, let's strike it up. days once this has got a hold and I'll build the fire up we'll get our water on the boil and uh, I'll throw this into the mix I might just cook some simple noodles or something in there I'm sure there'll be no issues with this whatsoever it looks really well made I'm happy with it so but we'll we'll give it a run see what happens shot here okay. happy days Okay, so the water's come to a good rolling boil. It has been for about three minutes. Which is what we want to kill any pathogens. So, uh, I'm just going to let that stand for a minute. So I've got me, uh, I'm going to have some coffee with this. 
battle prep highly recommend that great to uh, great coffee from the contact coffee company a veteran run company so I, i'd always support something like that but uh, there should just be about be enough in here for a coffee it's still quite murky and like chocolate milkshakey but i don't know if this will pick up but it's still quite cloudy quite muddy <laughs> muddy waters there 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 down <laughs> yeah just about enough a little bit of residue in the bottom nothing major yeah it's uh done everything that's been asked of it so far nice little kit well ready for this I'm not having a massive roaring fire today. I don't plan on being here for an overnighter. Alrighty. Ha ha, happy days. Let's have some wood. <laughs> oh yeah, much needed. Um, I did put a little bit of known clean water in the bottom just so that the coffee doesn't burn i don't like my coffee to go bitter with proper rolling boiling water in it so i might just cool it cool it down a little ways but that's perfectly fine and safe to drink now hmm. very nice coffee from muddy waters from mother nature <laughs> If anything, it's probably better for you because of the minerals and the stuff that's in the ground that will have passed through into the water. But the boiling means you won't get Jardia, Cryptosporidium, any of those waterborne pathogens. Um, so even if the water doesn't look clean, if you've boiled it for a good three minutes, rolling boils, no tummy troubles, you'll pretty much be guaranteed to be safe. Okay, so next up is going to be the uh, bush pot. I've already gone ahead and put some water in there. And um, I do like that little, the lid, the, uh, the hoop retaining slot. I do like that. And what I'm going to have is some of this quick and easy Thai style uh, chilli chicken. I like ramen noodle. Quick and easy. Come in nice paper sachets as well, which means you can... Dispose of them easily. Taking all my rubbish home with me again today, as always. This time, we're just going to go ahead and put this directly onto the fire. I know I can hang it if I want to, but we've already demonstrated that with the. Uh, the canteen so I'm just going to nestle that on the fire lay there and uh, get that on the brew get that cooking get some uh, carbs down me So we're back under the top, as noodles are done, we've got a coffee on the go. What more could be better? Oh yeah. Excellent. So whilst this has been a long ass video, if you're still with me, thank you all very much. I do appreciate your kind support. 
this has just been a bit of a video really giving the TBS hook system a bit of a, a trial not a review as such an overview because it's the first time I've used this kit obviously do I excuse me well that's some good stuff that sweet uh, Thai chili recommend that I think they were from like B&M or um, not sure if my missus picked them up it could even be from Audi so they're only cheap mm. Mm. pocket sized little sachets keep for a long time absolutely nice on the go for pink milk anyway I've rambled on way too long I'm going to sit and enjoy my noodles and my coffee now listen to Mother Nature's uh, chorus and uh, I'm going to go for a, a walk around collect a bit more firewood for next time I come which won't be long um, I've got one or two other videos that I need to start compiling putting together uh, hoping to do that today as well and um, I'll call it quits at that for now again thank you all very much for staying with me I appreciate each and every one of you thank you all for your continued support and kind comments that you always you always leave you're a good crowd good of you and until next time Mad Dog and the TBS kit signing off. Take care of each other. Have a great weekend, what's left of it. See you all soon. Yeah!